أسعد الله وقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة معنا اليوم إنجنير ليتران صاحب ومؤسس ليلوكس جروب هلو إنجنير uh, Good afternoon and thank you for coming Thank you very much and it's a pleasure to have an engineer like you in our program A pleasure all mine, thank you Engineer, in the beginning we want to know more about you and about your beginning with your business Hi, my name is uh, Lee Tran I am um, the founder of Lilacs Group I'm, um, My background, I am an electrical engineer The company was found in 2006 in the UK and we opened an office based in Dubai in 2016 um, because Ema have asked us to have an office based in Dubai in order for them to buy us a and purchase order. And I think order. since that day you keep growing until you reach a great name here in the UAE in the market. Um, yes, I mean by 2016, end, uh, end of 2016 to 2022, we, uh, we did a lot of projects for big clients. However, we didn't spend any time and effort in marketing. We grow by the fact that uh, uh, word to mouth recommendations, and because of that, we are growing to this day today. Wonderful. So, engineer, would you please tell us what type of services and the products you are giving in the market? Um, there are three areas that we provided, three different kind of services that we provide. One, we, uh, we provide consultancy, lighting consultancy, meaning that we do the lux calculation with the design, um, or we can work with the lighting designers so that uh, we can provide them as per their specifications requirements. Uh, the second service we provide is uh, energy consultants, i.e. Uh, clients have uh, an old building, they want to improve their energy. So we did analysis, cost analysis, and with that we, we implement different products in order for the client to save their energy. And with that, there is a return on investment. The final part is that we have our own products range called Lilux. All our products are in-house. We develop and we manufacture the product itself. So therefore, we can provide the customers uh, the whole package one-stop shop in order for them to maximize the uh, The budgets that they have so we work with the clients in terms of the budget and requirement as per specified by the consultants engineer among all of these Amazing services you mentioned Why you are special and what's your secret to be successful? um the uh, the service that we provide to the customers yeah is and we're not a lamp seller we are a solution provider we work with the consultants and the consultant generally the lighting consultant um, specified um, the, the products that they want to provide the customer the look and feel as per the requirements well what we look at it we look at it and we provide them a value engineering um, products that still complied with what the consultants have specified. By the same terms, we provide them a better um, budget that meet the requirements. Up to today, we are, I believe that we, all, we are quite successful for what we have done and achieved in a short period of terms. We are, what's the difference between us and others is that we provide the clients with solutions we are engineering based. We provide clients a solution, whereas if they have a budget constraint, we will help them to meet within the budgets, but not uh, just the budgets that we're trying to help them. For example, all the other side of the business that we are good at is energy consultancy, i.e. what does it mean? Meaning when uh, the clients want to reduce their carbon footprint, their cost, operation cost, maintenance, we come in there and we provide them how much it costs you at the moment in, in terms of operation on the existing um, equipments and lighting and so on. And then we will propose with a report to say, if you implement this, you will save X amount. And with that, that is a return on investment. Yeah. So in, in my background, I, I, like I said, I'm an engineer. So therefore, what we you tend to do with the customer, we're giving them the actual we don't lie to them, we are very transparent with them 
by providing them what they require. Wonderful. Engineer, would you please give us example of a project that you solve them up problems? Yeah, there, there are many projects that we able to resolve or we able to enhance the lighting. For example, the first project that I ever done within Dubai was with um, the Moral Emirates. The Moral Emirates back of house, they, uh, they, they require to save, to reduce the cost in terms of maintenance and in terms of electricity. At uh, the back of house for the malls, generally the lights are on 24 seven and they never switched off. So I look at their operations and I provide them by rectifying the existing light without changing all the lights. Hence, it's gonna cost them more money if you do. We have a product that we have a built-in sensor um, by uh, removing the existing uh, lamps and we replace with ours and you can adjust the time delay, i.e. if there's no movement within the time given, i.e. could be 30 seconds, then the light would dim down to 20%, 30%, or whichever they required, and that can be done manually on site. That was very successful. We, we saved them a lot of energy. I think it's roughly about 61, 62%, if not more. Then move on to that, Dubai Mall, EMA, have requested us to do the same thing. And we did it for all of the back of house area for the stairwells and for the back of house area they asked us whether we can develop the products that when there's no movement it dimmed down but it's smooth dimming we call it dynamic meaning that when there's no uh, movement rather than the light would dim you know switch on and off it's gradually dimmed down to the level that the clients requested and dim slowly dim up 100% when there's no movement. And again, we estimated the saving is about 61%, but the actual saving is about 69%. And that was very, very successful. And move on to that, because of that, we, um, we got recommendations from all the um, clients, you know, they want to do the same and up to today, and most of our work are recommended. Amazing. So engineer, let's move to future. After all of these amazing success you reach, what's your plans and what's your vision for the future? The, the other side of the business is that, um, you know, when uh, the clients have a, a new build, um, generally the um, consultants, light consultant has specified all the brands. And uh, unfortunately, the budget uh, constraint that the clients have, and we look at the, uh, the specifications and we switch to our own products brand called Lilex. And by our, but not just switching the products to our Lilex, we actually have to meet all the electrical parameters and all the lighting parameters that was designed by the consultants. By doing so, we provide them a Lux calculations and products um, validations by using our products and to meet the requirements set by the consultants and and to, ma to match that and also what we uh, we have to do is that we provide them the same specification but with line of products hence there is a saving in there our products you know compared to all of the brands it is as good as you can get but at the same time the beauty of working with us is that we able to customize what you required maybe you have a specific uh, requirement i.e the beam the color temperatures and the, uh, the drivers we can do that in-house yeah and again this is the benefit of the customer if they came with us and we added value because my engine uh, my engineering background um, we can provide them not just the lighting um, opinions or lighting uh, lighting expertise we also work with electrical contractor they ask what should we do this what should we do that even though it's not in our scope but because my background most of my most of my colleagues here have a bachelor degree and they are most of them are engineers so therefore we can give the clients you know more service in terms of not just lighting but electrical as well wonderful engineer as a businessman and with a great experience in business field 
inside UAE and outside UAE. What's your advice for any potential businessman or woman who is living in Dubai? Um, my humble opinions. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that to myself that I'm a businessman, and I am an engineer. I think like an engineer because I am an engineer. And if you're going to be successful, whether you are in UAE or Middle East or wherever across the world, you must love what you do. Yeah, you need to be very passionate what you do. And not just that, you need to prepare to work extremely hard. And hopefully, God will look upon you and he will reward you. But always do the right thing. Don't lie to the customer. Be transparent. If you can't do it, say you can't do it. If you can, then do your best. Once you shook your hands, then you need to deliver to what you promised. Because at the moment you think about money, you will fail. Luckily for me, I'm very passionate what I do. And I did this not because of money, because I'm very passionate what I do and I enjoy my job. And thanks God, look, uh, thanks God that God looked down on me and he rewarded me for what I have done. So my advice to you, be passionate what you do and be prepared to work extremely hard. As you mentioned that the first project you took in UAE with Amar, they told you to start your own office here. Why you choose to complete in UAE and do all the work and all the success you reach it here? Why you choose to be here? Um, my first project is actually with Alpha Team for the Moral Emirates uh, through Enova. This was for, for the back of the house for the Moral Emirates. Because of that project, it was very successfully uh, completed. And this was serviced um, through a UK office. Once I've done that EMA approach and EMA seen the products, EMA have seen the energy savings. And they said, and again, we have to uh, go through all the tender stages that we, we, we have to go through to comply. And we want the projects, but EMA said in order for them to provide us with a purchase order, I must be present within UE, i.e. Dubai. So I had a month to set up a company because I thought there's a huge opportunities here in the Middle East, especially in Dubai. And the people that I work with are very nice people. They're very, um, you know, we think like engineers and the engineer think alike. So I thought this is a good opportunity for me to actually start uh, something new and especially in Dubai. Hence, it, uh, I had a month to start up an office in Dubai in order for me to win the project, which I did. And again, that was completed very successfully. And then one after another, EMR have asked us to do this and do that. Again, we have, to, we have to go through tenders and so on to provide the best prime, the best solution, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But luckily, uh, we have provided what we promised and we won uh, quite a few projects. And it just from then, it just escalated. So, you know, from successful, uh, so successful projects that we have done and the clients that we, uh, we have worked for, are, for example, EMA, Alphatain, we did a recent uh, project with uh, Biha in Sarja is the uh, recycle um, uh, HQ for uh, Biha. We did Etihad Airport for North, uh, North Terminal uh, on the business and First Gas Lounge. We have done Nakil Town, the tallest town in uh, the Palm. We are currently working in Saudi Arabia at the moment. We're doing uh, DGDA. We did a lot of projects and all of this because it's recommendations. So in, in all, uh, you know, I'm very, very, very happy within um, UAE, especially Dubai. The country have provided me security. They provide me the lifestyle that, um, that my family wanted. And just, you know, you have a great leader. Um, throughout that everyone are friendly and, you know, very helpful. And there are a lot of opportunities that um, UE have given me, so I cannot be grateful enough. To, you know, thank you very much for taking us in, and thank you very much for providing me the security for my families and my friends and my colleagues and all that. Thank you very much. At the end, thank you very much, engineer. And we want to tell everyone how they can reach and contact with Lilox. 
we are based in Akus One. Yeah. Um, and also we'll be based in Saudi as well. We will have an office in Saudi Arabia. Most likely it's going to be in Riyadh. We currently um, going through the paperwork. But otherwise you can contact us to, you know, by through our websites and all the means of social media. Thank you again, engineer. We hope you all the best and the most successful in the future. And we hope to see you worldwide. Thank you very much. And I will try my best to gain um, people trust and do as ethic as I possibly can. And I will try my best to reach to the level where people know who we are and, and do the best as we possibly can. Thank, Thank you. you. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC الخليجية وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله